All right. How did the ECT directory or the ETC or whatever uh, start? Originally, there was a slash bin for programs, essentially executable binaries. And very soon, the, uh, the slash dev for device files and the slash live for uh, extra executable code loaded by programs, libraries. The slash user also came in very early first for user data. Then as an extra OS area with its own bin and lib and then the man containing the manual in an electronic form. The source code was also uh, provided somewhere under user. <clears throat> and then there were a few files in the oper operating system that didn't fit in the existing categories. This included, this included a password file containing user's password. <sighs> and an mtab file written by mount and the init and later rc programs ex executed at boot time and over time more and more programs that were intended to be executed only for administration purpose and not as part of normal usage at first there was no connotation that files in uh slash etc were configuration files in these very very early days if you wanted to customize something you'd be recompiling that part of the system as unix got more powerful there were more and more things that you could do without recompiling as unix got used more widely there were more and more things people wanted to do and they found ways of doing them without going through the trouble of recompiling the etc directory <sighs> filled up with more and more text files that people uh, could and did customize. Hence it, hence it gradually became the configuration directory. With the creation of uh, slash sbin to contain programs intended for only for the system administrator, the ETC ended up containing only text files, many of which can be customized by the system administrator. A few files, uh, e.g. E, uh, e slash etc slash mtab sometimes the etc slash uh, resolve.com uh, config are automatically maintained by system programs there's uh, there is a slow trend to move these files to the slash to the slash run in the in the linux world on modern unix systems <sighs> almost all system-wide configuration files are under slash etc but not all files in etc uh, e in slash etc are configuration files typical linux distributions and other unix variants don't cope very well with modifying any of the files that come from packages at a minimum you may end up having to merge the local modifications manually when the system is upgraded you can find references and etc in old bell labs unix manuals and so on nowadays it's used only for system configuration, but it used to be where all the stuff that didn't fit into other directories went. So that is how the ETC directory started.